Hello, how you doing today? It's Mr. Doodle Math, and today we're gonna to talk about distributive property. All right, so in order to talk about distributive property, let's define what distributive property is. So distributive property basically states that any number A times the quantity of B plus C equals A times B plus A times C, right? So essentially, Distributive property is multiplication um, of a number, any number that's outside of parentheses, when or if and only if there are no like terms there. So if there are no like terms inside of these parentheses, right, but there are terms there, you use distributive property to multiply through, okay? So let's look at some examples. Number four, I mean, number one says, four times the quantity of three X plus eight. Now, rule of thumb that I would, that I would like for you to do or something I would like for you to do when you're solving uh, or simplifying using the distributed property is to draw your arrows, All right? The arrows are simple, sim, sim, symbolize, I'm just stumbling over words right now, the, the arrows will symbolize multiplication, right? And so the first arrow is four times three, which is 12x, and then four times eight, which is 32, right? The reason I want you to draw your arrows is so that you don't forget about this last term. A lot of times when we do um, distributive property, we, we forget about this last term, okay? Let's look at another example here where we have a negative number. So we got negative five times the quantity of two x plus four. Again, draw your arrows to simplify, simplify where we're going. So it's gonna be negative five times two x, it's gonna give you negative 10 x, and then negative five times four, which is gonna give you negative 20, right? Now this is the answer, this is all you have, right? Why? Because there are no more like terms. So this answer is not negative 30, it is 10 x minus 20, okay? Let's look at a three term situation in parentheses. Negative seven times the quantity of three A minus six B plus one. All right, we got three terms here. They can't be simplified inside of these parentheses. So the next thing we'll do is multiply. Bow, bow. So it's got bow, seven times three, negative 21A. Bow, negative seven times negative six. A negative times a negative gives us a positive number, so it's gonna be plus 42B. And then the last one is negative seven times one, which is gonna give you negative seven. Again, no like terms, this is our solution here. All right. When distributive property is prevalent, there's, there's some situations where distributive property is prevalent, but you don't recognize it. And here it is, when you have a minus sign outside of parentheses. When there's a minus sign out of front, outside of parentheses, what's actually going on is um, this minus sign represents negative one, right? So uh, when you look at this minus sign on the outside of parentheses, no matter where it is in an equation, what you're doing is you're switching all the signs here because negative because you're multiplying a negative into this number. So it'll be negative one times x squared, which is going to give you negative x squared. Negative one times six x, which is going to give you negative six x, and negative one times negative two, which is going to give you positive two because a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay. All right. What's the difference between this problem here? Y minus seven minus five times two y minus eight. What's the difference between this problem and this problem? Yeah, you have two different distributive property situations. So with that being said, you're gonna distribute three into these parentheses and negative five into these parentheses. Okay, let's do it. So negative three times y, three y, three times negative seven, negative 21, minus five times two y, which is gonna give you negative 10 y, and then negative five times negative eight, which is gonna give you positive 40, okay? Now from here, we can look and say, oh, we got like terms here, so we're not quite done yet. So let's combine our like terms. One set of like terms are your y's, another set are your whole numbers. So let's do this, three minus 10 
Different sign subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger number. Then you'll be exact. So you got negative 7y. And then you have negative 21 plus 40, right? That's going to give you, what's that? 19, it looks like. Positive 19, right? Different sign subtract. The bigger number is positive here. So we're going to have negative 7y plus 19 plus 19 okay cool 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 all right let's look at let's look at this situation here let's look at the opposite so if we have a solution and we go the back way so typically with distributive property this is multiplication so to undo it you got to divide which is which is another term for factoring is which is another way of saying factoring. so if I have uh, this situation here where I have 6x plus seven is supposed to equal 18x plus 21. And we want to know what's being distributed into these parentheses. Um, what you can do is you can ask two questions. You can ask what time 6x gives you 18 and what time 7 gives you 21. Or you can look at it this way where what's the greatest common factor between 18 and 21, right? Either way you ask that question, you're going to get three as your solution. So it's just, it's all in how your brain is working on this particular day, okay? Very good. I'm gonna show you one more example and then I'm gonna get out your hair. All right, this final example um, is, is uh, it's one of those situations where we commonly make this mistake. One common mistake that people make when they see a problem like this is that they add these together before they distribute, all right? But you gotta follow order of operations. Order of operations means that you gotta look and see, well, because of order of operations, you'll see multiplication comes before the addition part. So we're gonna multiply. So that's gonna be two times three X, five is gonna come straight down. That's gonna give you plus six X, and then two times six, which is gonna give you plus 12. From here, then we can add. So we're gonna combine our like terms, which is just the five and the 12, all right? So we we'll end up with six X plus 17, right? That is our solution. Oftentimes people will get a seven and then multiply, that's totally wrong. So um, remember, distributive property means that the number outside is multiplied into everything inside of the parentheses, all right? If you have any more questions about distributive property, comment below, and if, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mr. Math, out.